In this video, we will continue talking about coding standards and guidelines. Why is it so important to follow coding standards? So, coding standards and conventions can, can help us to understand the code without documentation in the future, for example, or in case we, we will have some newcomers in our team, these code conventions will help our new newcomers to understand this code better and faster and start working as fast as possible. Also, code convention helps us to answer the next questions. How should I write better and readable code? How should I fragment code into meaningful methods? How should I name a variable so that everyone understands it? How can I make complex conditions look good and readable? How do I shape the code based on the packages and namespaces? All these questions can be answered with created in your team code convention and code style how you how you should create your code so let's take a look on one simple sample it's uh, a couple of pieces of code how it was created the first one it's uh, defining variable and uh, here you can see that it's uh, very hard to read and understand what this variable means so it's not understandable and uh, in the opposite, you have another case, the same variable, but uh, you can read it and understand that it's a generation timestamp. So that you know that what is saved here. And um, for this variable, you do not need some additional comments, this timestamp comment, because of uh, in future you can change or rename the variable, but not always you change comments. And uh, it calls like comments can lie in, with the time. When you change your code and do not change comments, comments becomes a big problem. The next sample is a function and here you can see that it uh, was created like a temporary solution because you don't understand what's going on in this, in this function, what's the cycle, uh, what if condition works, what does it mean this for number and it looks a bit uh, not as a good code. So from other side we can take a look on another implementation which looks which looks much better it's uh, here you can see this formatting of your code you can understand uh, more or less how it works uh, we see that all hard coded values like four was replaced with uh, some constant and uh, we at least can understand what does it mean fact or in the future we can uh, maintain or change it easily so this code becomes much much better also we can see the ne next code which looks uh, also better because of it's more readable and uh, you can read and understand what was passed here as a parameters and how it works so code conventions help us make our code readable as far as possible and uh, in this case we do not need to uh, do additional mental work it reduces mental mapping. It means that you don't need to remember what was X, what does it mean? What this uh, least one, what this variable means. Also, it helps us to create uh, better variable names because of, we know that generation timestamp is much better variable name than Jenny DM HMS. What, I don't know what does it mean really. And uh, also it's, use pronounceable name so you can read and understand this variable without these very terrible solutions so why do we need this uh, clean code standards and why it's important so let's take a look on this uh, image and we will see that uh, we have with the time we have cost of changes and we have optimal respons responsiveness how we should develop a code so on the beginning, we need some additional time, this red line, we need additional time to implement it and uh, following code uh, rules, code uh, convention, code style, but with the time it, it will take less and less time for following it and code will be better in maintenance and uh, better in readability. In the same time, cost of change, if we don't, don't follow this code convention, cost of change will be increased dramatically exponent in exponential view because of we will increase increase the number of technical debt we will increase the number of functions which should be refactored or changed we will increase uh, a number of bugs or hidden bugs and uh, with the time it will be much much more expensive and difficult to maintain and change this code so that's why we need to try to follow clean code 
requirements and it will increase our readability, changeability, extensibility and maintainability features of our code. So we need to remember that code which is based on a standard is an investment to keep the cost of change constant as far as possible throughout the life cycle software development through the software life, life cycle. We know that uh, life cycle can take a lot uh, many, many years and in the future some another developer will maintain your code and uh, if we have some documentation describing this code convention and code standards, it will decrease the number of errors and increase the uh, number of fixed bugs in short time. And uh, about cleaners, why do we need this clean and where it comes from? So. Clean code it becomes from a cleaning room from electronic industries. There is a principle that the clean room reduces defects during during fabrication something in a factory. So when we reduce the number of uh, trash or something useless in a room, we will make fabrication better. And in the same time, it's the same for a code. When we remove useless part of codes, if we try to create it as clean as possible, the final product, the final code will be with a bigger and higher cleanness and uh, it will be better for maintenance and understanding how it works in the future.